Good evening, everyone. Um, I decided to uh, record at night. I know I've said in the past that's not my thing. I like the day recording so much better. But I thought it was appropriate to uh, record a Halloween-themed um, video uh, the weekend leading up to Halloween. And I even decided to dress up for you uh, as a new sailor, for you, which is... Um, quite unprecedented for me. Um, so, uh, this evening we are going to discuss costume, crime, and candy, and not necessarily in that order. But, um, let's begin with costume. All right, first of all, I feel too old to be dressing up, uh, more so now than ever before. I mean, I don't know. My attitude is, why dress up now? I never did in the past, so why do it now? Um, just so you know, this is incredibly uncomfortable. Um, it's going to uh, be a struggle to try to remain uh, dressed on camera, because I'm just ready to peel all this stuff off. But anyway, um, I've, I've never been one to dress up. Um, I, I've had, I had a friend encourage me to go out last night. Um, he was going to dress up. And, uh, you know, I don't like going to Halloween parties because, you know, if I want to fit in at least a little, I should dress up, you know, just to be in the spirit of things. But I just, you know, to me, it's a waste of money to buy something that you're never going to wear again. And if you do, everybody says, oh, yeah, I, I, you've worn that before. You know, um... I like to do something different every year, and then, I mean, if I were to do it, I'd like to do something different every year, and um, I think it's just a waste of money to buy a costume that you're never going to wear again. Now, there's also people say that you can be very creative and make your own costume very inexpensively, but I don't know if it's that I'm lazy or I'm not creative or if it's a combination of the two things. I don't like making my own costume, and... I, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. But um, the last time I remember, I, the first time I can remember dressing up, um, this is very blasphemous, but I dressed up as a nun. And um, I, I hadn't seen these pictures in years, but I, I, I had a friend who sent them to me. Uh, pictures of me um, uh, shooting the bird, you know, flipping people off in, you know, while in a habit. So, um, not something I would do today, but that's the first time that I remember dressing up. And then I did it again a few years ago. I wore this uh, navy costume, uh, which is, you know, I don't know, really nice. I mean, I came close to becoming uh, a sailor man myself. I, you may have recalled I was talking to you uh, a while back about my brief interest in joining the military. And I think it was going to be um, in the navy. But anyway, um, a few years ago, I did um, go to a Halloween party, and I did. I was persuaded into uh, dressing up, and this was a, a dirt cheap costume at Party City. Um, I paid twenty five bucks for it, and it's it's pretty shabby. I mean, it's very uncomfortable. It's a one size fits all. And then I went back and I got a discount on top of the off of the twenty five dollars because it's supposed to be like some type of a blue. Um, like bandana, and it wasn't included for some reason. In fact, I went looking for one tonight because I thought I'd wear it on camera for you, but couldn't find anything that looked good. So, um, yeah, I think it's just uh, a waste of money uh, to buy costumes. Uh, I looked again this year. I thought maybe I'd do it uh, this year, and the, the least expensive costumes that I could find were like 40 bucks, and they weren't, I wasn't that impressed with them, you know, if I don't feel good in it, I'm not going to wear it. If it doesn't feel like me, I'm not going to do it. But then again, how can any costume feel like you? But um, I don't know. I just wish that I had the body to be Spider-Man, but I don't. Uh, but I'd probably do something like that. But even the costume for, for, for superheroes are pretty expensive. So, um, yeah, costumes are not my thing. Um, I'm not into candy either. Um, I, I do have a sweet tooth. But um, not for candy, all right? But um, I do have some preferred candies. Um, my favorite is the Twix bar. 
This is great. Little cookie covered with caramel and chocolate. Delish. And um, probably the runner-up would be either Snickers or, or M&M's. Good stuff. I also have um, Almond Joy. Let me tell you, I don't like nuts in ice cream or in candy. You know, when something has a pretty, um, I don't know, I just don't like the consistency to change from one bite to the next. You're chewing into something soft, then all of a sudden you're chewing into something hard. Um, but Almond Joy, I like that it's milk chocolate, and I like coconut. Then there's an almond in there. I can take it or leave it. Not a big deal. But um, not a fan of uh, peanuts or anything like that. But Snickers I like. And that has that has nuts, obviously peanuts, but they're small. And I also like M and M's. Um, when it comes to candy, I prefer chocolate. I do. I don't like all that other stuff um, that people give out for Halloween like candy corn. That stuff is disgusting. It's like pure sugar. Don't like it. Um, my favorite candy growing up, I remember, was Swedish fish. The red ones. Now, I don't like gummy bears or gummy worms or gummy anything. But Swedish fish, those red ones, the bomb. Really good stuff. Um, and the other candies that I like that are not chocolate, I'd have to say Skittles. I, I like Skittles. And um, Starburst is pretty good. But my interest has waned over the years on Starburst. But still, I still remain tight when it comes to Skittles. Still really into those. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's other stuff. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff that I like. Um, I don't like stuff mixed with peanut butter very much. So I'm not into Reese's. I mean, I can, I can eat it, but... Not my thing. Uh, peanut butter, to me, does belongs in two slices of bread with jelly. No other way. Not good in chocolate. Okay? Just don't like it. And um, so the whole candy thing, I never went trick-or-treating growing up. So the idea is foreign to me. It really is. Um, but... Horror movies, I've always liked. And um, as I've gotten older, it's hard to take some of the new movies. Like, um, this weekend, the movie Jigsaw opened. And I saw the first Saw. It was a, I thought it was a great movie. And then I saw a few of the sequels. And I found I was having a really difficult time with these movies. And Hostel was also really good. And I finally was able to put my finger on it. I have no problem seeing people get killed. I don't. What I have a problem with is the suffering. I can't take it. And the newer movies have just gotten so intense. Um, I hate dating myself, aging myself, but um, I, I did a lot of my growing up when slasher films were big. Um, let's see. One of my favorites, Jason Voorhees. Okay. And also... Um, Freddy Krueger, okay? And then, who else do we have here? Scream was good. That was um, when I was older. This guy, Leatherface, always scared the hell out of me. And um, there's also... Michael Myers is in here somewhere. Um, I could have sworn I saw him earlier. No, right there. Um, last night, I saw the Halloween, Halloween reboot with, um, with a friend of mine. And... Um, the, the, it, it was pretty good. Um, I'd seen it before, but I just saw it again because uh, it's, you know, the time to dust off the old Halloween movies and watch them. And um, so let's talk a little bit about Halloween. Um, the first um, Sam Loomis, who appeared in the first uh, five Halloweens, the weird thing about Halloween is the third movie was completely unrelated. But it wasn't it, it was a it was a decent movie. It was weird. It was pretty good, but it had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with parts one and two. 
part two picked up exactly where part one left off of. And then part four was, I don't want to say when the movie came out, <laughs> but it was when I was old enough to finally see our movies. And I went to see R4 uh, with a girlfriend of mine, and um, I, I just remember people like practically jumping out of their seats and screaming at one of the scenes, and I won't say which because I'm not into spoilers, but um, see part four. Four was good, and then um, Sam Loomis's last appearance in a uh, Halloween movie was in part five. Sam Loomis played the doctor who... Um, you know, Michael Myers, the villain, was in his care. And uh, Sam Loomis felt that he failed to rehabilitate Michael because he went on, you know, killing. And um, he was always trying to stop him. And I don't know, There's Donald Pleasance played Sam Loomis, and I don't think anybody could play him better. Uh, the reboot that I saw last night, I thought I could understand why they picked who they picked, and he wasn't bad. Um maybe as good as it gets, but he was no Donald Pleasance. Um, no one can, can uh, fill that role the way uh, Donald Pleasance said he was great. I mean, you could really feel the angst. Um, he, he, was, he played that role very passionately. And um, by the time he played part five, he was, uh, I think his screen time was reduced and he was really uh, quite old or quite sick or a combination of the two. And the only reason why he wasn't brought back in six was uh, because he passed away. And I think they actually dedicated uh, the film, or at least there was a reference to Donald Pleasance in the, in the, in the closing credits. Um, the other movies, you know, from six on, there's been several more. I don't, I don't, I don't remember them. I haven't seen any of them really enough to remember them, uh, but there's been plenty. And, um, I had never seen um, the Halloween 2 from 2009. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, but I was also a fan of um, uh, Friday the 13th movies, and um, I've seen all of them, um, the, the first several many, many times. Uh, but I think there's been like a, a dozen of those. And then there was also the Freddy vs. Jason movie, which is more of a, a Nightmare on Elm Street movie where those two villains came together in one movie. That was a hoot. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I, I like the slasher films. Um, they're nostalgic for me now. Um, I always found, like I, I think I said, Leatherface is pretty scary for me. Um, Pinhead is down at that end. Couldn't watch Hellraiser movies. Those, those scared the Jesus out of me. Um, I never really got into Silence of the Lambs. Elvira was a scream. Um, she, she, I don't think she really did scary movies. I think, I think she presented them, but I don't think she really played in them. Although she was an all buyer Mrs. of the Dark. If you've seen that movie, check it out. It's good. And then um, Chucky, never got into him. I have a friend who really is a big fan of his. Poltergeist, I don't even think I saw that movie. Um, that looks like Phantasm. I'm not sure if that's what that is. American Werewolf lumped it up on the top. Jaws. Um, uh, there's also The Exorcist. There's been several sequels of those. I don't like them. A lot of people don't like sequels. I like them. I think when, you know, I'm a pretty loyal fan. If I like the first installment of something, I like to see many more. So, um, anyhow, I hope you have an enjoyable Halloween. Um, collect lots of candy, win big, con big cash prizes and contests if you enter them. Um, you know, just uh, be safe and have fun, and um, we'll be back and we'll do this some more again real soon, okay? Um, that's it for tonight.